front end code and the and the nose and all these things are really I mean even before that I, I think you were working on the cloudy app even before that right before the release you were using the API the the reverse engineering if you will of the of the exact, app, right reverse engineering is the exact right word and yeah. I think one of the most delightful surprises in building cloudy is at the very beginning uh myself and then later Wes Smith who joined me mm. we kind of assumed that it was going to be an uphill battle against an ever moving target without kind of any friendlies on the inside mm. we kind of assumed that we'd be building almost to the chagrin of the original developers right and it turned out to be pretty different than that yeah. um so you know in the first few weeks the platform's moving really really quickly mm. and so we sort of interpreted some of the early breaking changes as oh god they're trying to break our app <laughs> obviously they were just trying to move really really quickly mm. but when we did finally start to engage and see them working on things like bitcloud's identity mm. and then started working with maybe through some problems the team's actually been incredibly supportive and helpful and is clearly proactively trying to create a more stable development interface so that people like us uh can build applications on top of it and where you know i think six weeks ago now when we started building cloudy we were basically one of maybe five people who were maybe like, i don't know a very small number of people yeah who were building anything prominent on top of the platform yeah. and so when they broke something they really only like broke us and a couple of other people and no one had to care yeah. today now that they've federated that and they've open sourced the nodes and the other people are running the front end code there's a lot more stability in that interface and so they've created a much more friendly environment to build in yeah and candidly I, i've never seen a platform evolve as quickly uh, as bitcloud is today Yeah. I don't know how many people they secretly have working on it behind yeah, uh blue party hat red party hat maybe <laughs> like it's the pace uh the pace and the quality mm. and the kind of single minded direction uh in which they're building is really impressive mm -hmm. and where that came certainly at the cost for us of you know having to rewrite things I don't think I've ever rewritten code as much in my whole career as <laughs> I have on this project in the last yeah. six weeks. I think we've written like image, uh, image uploading and image posting maybe three times mm. as kind of that's evolved over the right. past few weeks. Uh, login identity, I think, has had three kind of full rewrites mm. as kind of the underlying things have found their final states. Uh, but it's been totally worth it. And, you know, now that they've open sourced a lot of the identity code, it's no longer reverse engineering you can go and actually kind of look at how it works and mm. you know build a sensible protocol on your side yeah um, so it's been a it's been a really fun evolution to watch oh yeah it is it is and i i actually went and downloaded the node the node setup and everything and set up a vm and started the node and all that 